Hi, I'm Peter and today I will be talking about Merging Maps work packages, how to split project to multiple teams. Merging Maps is a platform that can be used for many things for your field survey and also it has an API that can be used for synchronization with Postgres database or working with your photos or today's topic, split your project to multiple sub-projects. So let's dive into it. Merging work packages leverages the Merging Maps API and is available for any team subscription or on-premises installation. It is open source, so feel free to open our GitHub and look for the code. What it does? So imagine you are a GIS admin and you have a very big project with many points and you have many survey teams. You want to select a few points based on location or attribute and assign that to team A and team B. Merging work packages can help you a lot with this task. It can automatically split your project to two sub-projects in Merging Maps workspace, which could be afterwards assigned to various teams. Why this is important? There are many ways how you can use it. For example, you don't want team A and team B see the other work for security reasons, or you want to reduce the project size for survey teams so they do not have the big project, just the part they need, or you want to assign a task for a particular day for teams. For example, team A should visit these three locations and take pictures of them and team B should go to different location. This way, it is obvious to which location they should go. So, the first, first option is to filter by attribute. Imagine you have geo package with this database structure. You can assign some points to team A and some points to team B. This is a configuration file of the merging work packages tool that filter by uh, column name survey team to two sub team sub projects other option is filter by geometry you can select the geometry in the configuration file that specifies some area and it works the same way but just by geometry set so let's try it out on our example I'm working with Merging Work Packages version 1.1. So first of all, we need to have Docker installed, Merging Maps Workspace, and QGIS and QGIS and Merging Maps installed on mobile. First of all, I set up some simple QGIS project via app and add the survey team attribute to it and assign a few points. So here. I create the project, add field name, survey team that will be used for selecting the points to various sub projects, and I upload it to the cloud. Now let's add a few points so we have some starting point. So I add a bunch of points to survey team one, and then the same for survey team two. This attribute will be later used with Merging Maps Work Package 2 to split the, this master project to two sub projects. Okay, we are almost done. And now we need to click Synchronize button. That's it. So, the third step is to create a configuration file and upload it to your Merging Maps workspace. So this is my configuration file where I need to select the file, the name of the name of the table in that file, and the column name of the filtering. 
and then the work package is a specification of where the project will be stored on the marginless workspace and which value in this in this column they will be assigned you need to upload it to app merging maps comp so let's see how it works so i download the project that i created through the mobile app and store it on my disk You see, now I have prepared merging work pa packages file, the YAML file that has that content from the previous slide, and it's stored next to the QGIS project file. Make sure it has correct name. Now I copy the file to the project data, the prepared file I had with the configuration and once here I need to upload it to the server so I right click here and synchronize now let's let's check the server if it if the file is there So this is my project and if I refresh it, the file should be there. Great. Let's go forward. Now, when we have the file on the server, we can run Docker with the merging work package script to create a separate sub projects and set up the basic Flow. So we have the script here with the parameters and I when I run it you see some log it will create two, two sub projects in my workspace and when I look at the sub projects they are here team A and TB. Now let's download them in uh, QGIS to see what is in the projects. I will just select the folder name, download it, open it, and I see that it's missing the B points. It's just four A points. I can do the same with project 14B. And as you will see, it has just a B points from the this attribute B so now why we did it uh, because now we have the two projects one for project team A and one project for team B now you can invite your team members to merging maps and share the project for team A only with team members from team A and the same with team B. And you can share the main project with the GIS admin. So let's try that and try to simulate what the members of these teams does do. Uh, usually they will use the mobile application, but for simplicity, I will use QGIS. So I have opened project B and I create my new B point in a field, let's say. I can synchronize it to the server. And now I'm modifying the, the team B project. Very good. Now let's open the, the project of team A and again at some point. So my A point and I'm survey team A. And now imagine that you as a GIS admin need to assign more tasks to the teams or modify the master project in the same time. 
it's possible. So let's open the main project too. And at point here too. Now we are really editing three separate projects on Mergin Map server. If we want to synchronize the, the, the stuff together, we'll need to run the Mergin Maps work, work packages script again. The work packages script will find the, the new versions in both sub projects in a master project and synchronize all three projects together. It will pass the feature A from the master project to the team A project and it will pass all the new features from sub projects to the master project. Well done, this was done. And now let's synchronize from the server and see if we can see the, the new, ah, you see. Now we get the new points that was digitized by our team members. My A point that was digitized by team A member. My B point that was digitized by my team B member. And then there is this project we edit in master project. If we synchronize the team A sub project, we will see the point that we added in the master project. So to sum it up, this tool is great for splitting work to team based on location, geolocation or attribute. The main project with all features is, is great for GIS admins that need access to all data. The sub projects are great for sub teams for optimization of their work and security reasons. This is available in team subscription or on premises and you can run it in Docker or locally if you have Python and few requirements installed. If you need some help, join our Slack community channel or ask us on support. Thank you very much for your attention.